Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting checkmates that I did about a month back. And now I was playing here as black. I played the Garukan defense, of course. Often started off with, let me just put on the analysis board. I'll turn, turn on the engine evaluation as well. Open started off with d4. I went with c6. Open goes for c4, uh, trying to be aggressive, trying to occupy the bulk of center. I went for d5. Open doesn't take here. Uh, and if the problem here and the best move actually is to play e6, if you don't, and suppose you take, that is bad because suddenly you, you see open can either expand in the center or just open up here. And your pawn is a weakness which open can take. If you try, try to defend it, then open has again got a4, can just break from b3 as well. And you have just overexpanded your pawns already in the beginning. Meanwhile, open has developed the knight and the bishop would come out soon. Queen is also nice. So that's not really a good option if you take on the pawn. So instead, always play e6 and a solid center. Karukan is something where you can always expect a solid opening for sure if you know the basics of the Karukan. So e6, uh, open goes fit knight to f3. Uh, and I play bishop b4, trying to pin the knight over there. Uh, open gets bishop to g5, hitting my queen. And now queen goes to a5, trying to double up on the knight. Open plays queen to c2. Uh, and I just kick the bishop backwards by placing h6. Now bishop goes to uh, h4 here, which is kind of weird because already your bishop is not eyeing the right diagonal. There's nothing there. Why do you want to keep your bishop on the h file? Uh, so I went with bishop to g5, pushing my pawns as well. Open goes with bishop g3. I developed the knight onto f6. Um, I'm not sure that I will be castling, but I just want to develop here because already my pawns have expanded a bit much. And you don't want to castle when you're king would not be safe by these pawns. Uh, so here open plays pawn to uh, e3. Uh, and then I take on uh, the knight with the bishop. Open does take back with the queen. And we exchange of the queen as well. Uh, you might be thinking it would be a boring uh, game there on because the queens have been traded off. But that's not the case at all. Open tries to save off the pawn with the rook. And I take on the bishop, trying to exchange everything. Now, what I have achieved is Open has got two double pawns on C and G files. I take on one uh, because I wanted to make sure that uh, Open doesn't take and spoil my pawn structure. And Open find a good weakness in my structure by taking on G5 because now I can't capture because Rook takes would be nasty. And I'll be losing a lot of stuff here. Open can then get the bishop to take another pawn and suddenly I'm in a losing position. Uh, 7.2 in, uh, if you're just checking the engine evaluation. So I missed that part that my open can take with the knight. Uh, so I couldn't do much about it. So I thought I'll just push for b5 now and defend the pawn at least. And then knight goes back uh, and I play my knight to d7 trying to uh, get going with my knight. Open plays bishop e2, maybe preparing to castle. I went with bishop b7 so that the base of my pawn Structure is at least safe, and I'm re re really looking forward to using this bishop better uh, eventually. Open goes for g4. I place my king now onto e7. There's no point of casting because there's no good pawn structure, and king e7 puts my king in the center, uh, but it's safe, and my rooks have been connected too. So that's the motto behind castling too. So King safety and rooks uh, al uh, together aligned is what I've achieved without casting. Open goes with a4, trying to break open the pawn chain. I went with a6. Open pushes the pawn forward to a5 uh, because now, of course, I cannot capture it. It's a dark, it's on dark square, and I have a light square bishop. To capture it, I would have to go somewhere here and then eventually take on, but it's a long process. Pawns are there, rook is going to defend it. So the pawn is kind of safe there, so that's what my open thought. I went with c5 immediately, trying to break open so that my knight gets active. Uh, and open plays rook to h5. Now again, trying to get the rook active. Doing a rook lift is always nice, but gives away the pawn. The open takes back with the pawn on uh, from c files. Uh, c takes on d4. And now uh, 
Dorpant is eyeing the pawn uh, uh, chain, but doesn't help him. Uh, it's not doing much. My knight is good, uh, where it's controlling. I went with bishop to c6. Uh, opponent goes a knight to e5, and we traded off the knights. Open takes back with the rook. Of course, he had done the rook lift. So why take with the pawn then and get double pawns uh, in the center? Uh, so I saw a free pawn hanging there. So I uh, took on g2. Open plays pawn forward, trying to trap my bishop there in the corner by play, placing on f3. I went ahead with h5, offering the pawn, which open denies. And now I move the bishop back onto h3. Open takes the pawn uh, with the rook so that rooks can be traded off. But that allows my bishop backwards. So I was happy. Uh, open places bishop, uh, sorry, pawn to e4, and now bishop comes to h7. Now the bishop is secure. All I have to do is trade off the rook and the bishops and push these vicious pawns for a victory. Open places king on p3. Here comes rook on in the open file. Always important to place a rook in the open files. Rook to g8, and now king comes up onto f4 and here i just went for the bishop opponent tries to get the king back to defend the bishop and now i started moving my king to f6 towards the center is always nice open plays f4 i just move my rook away uh, just trying to hold on to the bishop and attacking the pawn as well open defense with the bishop on to g4 uh, so that the opponent can move the king and now i sway over to the other side of the board rook a2 hitting the pawn which was Kind of defended earlier, but not now. Uh, open plays pawn forward e5, giving me a check, but doesn't matter because I wanted to go back anyway. I was just trying to make sure that my opponent cannot do a pawn break here. Unless my opponent would have broken from here, that is the only way my opponent is ever going to queen. If that's not happening, I'm in the winning position. So now rook comes on to d1, trying to push the pawn forward. I take on a free pawn, open pushes for the pawn, and I have to take because I don't want it to become a pain uh, later on once my opponent pushes the pawn forward, gives me a check. Yes, I can control it for the time being, but why to take risk? Opponent will eventually try to move the king, try to get the bishop, do some sacrifice, maybe push the other pawn too. And I don't want myself in, in that situation, so I just wanted to kill that pawn straight away. I took on, opponent takes back, uh, and I, that's check from rook a3. And then I tried off exchanging the rooks because I will have three pawns here which are pretty nice and opponent do does take here which was strange because now i can take with the bishop and i have three uh, pass pawns which are free to go and promote open places uh, f5 trying to uh, give a check maybe next time or have a pawn break and then promote one of the pawns i started off with a5 trying to push open places h6 now also what my opponent did by placing f5 was cut off my bishop's diagonal so my opponent is ready to queen uh, faster than me. So I went with king f8, trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. Opponent goes king e3, trying to hit the bishop, but doesn't matter because bishop is guarded with the pawn. And I kept on pushing a4 then. Opponent goes to d4, trying to make way uh, eventually uh, from here to stop my pawn. And I went with a3, king goes now to c3. And finally a2, opponent goes towards the... Uh, pawn but now comes bishop b1 which would always defend the pawn too open cannot do anything about it but starts pushing the pawn on to e6 now i push another pawn c3 giving a check open goes back and i take on the pawn open does take back and now i move my king to e7 now the idea was that i can always take on once my opponent moves so doesn't matter opponent goes bishop back to h3 there was no purpose of moving the bishop there, but my opponent didn't have much choices too. The best move as per the computer is to give away the pawn so that I take and opponent can also take, but then I have two uh, against the lone pawn here as a majority, and I, it should be a good winning end game eventually. Uh, so my opponent moved the bishop, and which allowed me to push pawns forward. I placed b4, opponent goes back to the same spot, and now I push the b3. My opponent completely forgot that the pawns can checkmate too. And opponent does go back with bishop to d1, but it's too late because pawn to b2, a beautiful checkmate with pawns and bishop uh, in the corner. So yeah, that's a beautiful mate. And I thought of sharing it with all of you guys. I hope you like it. 
If you do, please do subscribe to the channel and I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content at the same time, like always. I hope you like it. Please do like the video too. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.